Do you think that Kwame Nkrumah started, what Kwame Nkrumah started is being continued by, uh, you know, his decessors? No, no. Who is doing that? Mm. Nanado is killing Kwame Nkrumah. The president we have right now is an enemy of Nkrumahism and an enemy of Nkrumah. You don't need to go further to understand this. Where is the two Ghana sitting though that had Nkrumah's face and killed, bent, sent away forever? The same government tagged Nkrumah as a dictator government. The same government also came out and decided to discontinue anything that Nkrumah did, including his philosophies. But we understand them. Their fathers and grandfathers were anti Nkrumah. They were those who had this sign. They are tea. We are breaking away from the rest of Ghana. So when we hear Voltarians say they are breaking away, they were inspired by the Yatiyahu people, led by Balfoya Okoto, whose son is now the agri minister. See, Nanado's father was an anti Nkrumah. His whole family was anti Nkrumah. So why would Nanado support Nkrumah when his father, his grandfather, Selfuriata, and the rest were all against Nkrumah? This is history. It's nothing to hide. So we understand. But listen. Nkrumah without Ghana is Ghanaless. Really? Ghana without Nkrumah is Ghana. Who named it Ghana? So the man who named it Ghana, you want to subtract him. You would only get negative values. But I want to... What attitude are we talking Good, about? Good, nasty attitudes. Look, Nanato can build all the roads, put street lights all over, build one trillion factories all over Ghana. If our attitude is as nasty and stinking as it is right now, Trust me, we will go in and collapse everything. We will steal all the balls and destroy all the roads. That's true. Throw rubbish all over the place. Mm -hmm. I watch them and they are just throwing. That's bad attitude. Remember at independence, Kwame Nkrumah told us that now that you have your independence, the next thing is for us to change our attitude. Nkrumah said it on the day of independence. That attitude now cares. If there's any curse, the churches should be cutting with knife. Mekun. I kill you. Die. Die. It should be the attitudinal demon. Not the spirit. No. That demon of attitude where the employer, because it's not your father or your mother, you will steal time, steal internet, steal petrol, steal whatever. When we were at Multimedia, there was a guy who was stealing diesel from the uh, uh, a friend saying, uh, generator. Hey, the generator that was providing power for the whole building. is there. Go check it. He was still in diesel. He went midnight. He was a midnight hip hop player. You know, you come at night and pull the diesel into his car. Wow. And then we all will be sitting there, boof, oh, he light off. Ah, and you draw a top diesel. He. he will be one of those sitting there, oh, company with right there. That's the attitude I'm talking about. The attitude is when D Black can steal 500,000 Ghana cities worth of electricity and still be part of Doomsaw Vigil. That's what I'm talking about. You are stealing 500,000. But we don't have proof that he stole it. It was alleged. Who alleged? Mm. The owners of the power said he stole it. Which allegation? Ah. The so owners it, of the power. So what power. do you think should happen to D Black? D Black should be made to suffer like any other person. Yes, that's stealing. If D Black had broken into multimedia, and stolen 500,000. <laughs> By now, Ghanaians will be talking about because it's a governmental institution. Even in our proverbs, Can you imagine this? This is a proverb. It's a Rakan proverb. Government work, we don't carry on our heads, so we drag it on the floor. Hmm. That's what D Black has done, and I'm so ashamed. So, should he be imprisoned? I don't believe in prisons. Mm. Mm -mm. Prison. What? So what punishment do you think should be rendered onto him? He has to pay threefold, fourfold, fivefold, depending on them. For me, he shouldn't pay less than tenfold what he has stolen. Once faced parliament, <laughs> <laughs> you almost lost your job. In fact, some of your jobs had to lay you off. But you never stopped, and you're still going hard, and this time you're even going harder. Well, as I said, I mean, the passion drives me. Mm. There's a spirit that enters me anytime I have to fight for the people. Mm -hmm. Left to me alone, I can get my daily bread. Left to me alone, I have visas in almost every country that matters. I can move with my family, 
go sit down there, sing reggae all day, all night, make my money and forget Ghana forever. But that is not my calling. My calling is for the voiceless. My calling is for the people who nobody speaks for. Yes, Parliament, they invited me. What was it about? We, Ntampe. Mm. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I am 110% vegetarian. In fact, higher than a vegetarian, I'm vegan. Mm. I don't drink ice water. I don't eat anything that is made up of uh, flour, white flour, and all that. See? I don't eat sugar. I don't smoke. Parliament invited me that I said 80% of them smoke marijuana. And I said the import, the content of the whole thing was that marijuana should be legalized. Please let it happen. You guys are those making the, the law. Do you still think it should be legalized? It's been legalized. Mm. That's why I keep saying that we are several years ahead of them. They fight us now. Ten years later, they realize that, ah, that guy was a prophet. And with their tails between their legs, they don't even have the courtesy to apologize. Look at Ghana Music Awards. When I lashed out at them, they banned me. Mm. They banned me. Hey, insulted as we have banned him. Insulting behavior. Hey, really? Black Rasta, do you want an apology from the parliament? For what you well, I'm going to get to that. VGMA. I decided that I would not be part of any organization, any award scheme that would have to vote. By voting, you are buying the award. See, they didn't see the, the reason behind this. I just said that VGM said, oh, now they are not voting anymore. And I said, oh, really? Yeah. Then bring me my stone. After burning me and kicking me away, making me look like somebody who smokes weed and doesn't think. Come and apologize to me. Parliament should apologize to me. Mm. Of course, yes. Ah, you brought me there. You wanted to embarrass me. You should have been in Parliament to see what was happening. When I was passing by some minister who stretched his leg like this. Oh, wow. They were doing all that. <laughs> they were like infants. Some of them. How did you feel? I felt like King Kong. I felt strong. I felt like, woo! So even those who were not attending parliamentary sittings were all there. Because they wanted to catch a glimpse of the superstar. Yeah, the superstar arrived. Michael Jackson came in to do the moonwalk to some of those people who were moonlighting. See? And they were all watching me like that. And they were talking. They said, and they were, you're too known. Yeah, we get you to that. Say, you get me. Go and develop your village roads. Mm. That's what matters. What do you think he can that's, do that's different to make sure that we are, we are not struggling like the other nations are struggling? Oh, beautiful. Somewhere in 1978, if I'm not mistaken, a champion brought something called Operation Feed Yourself. Plant, backyard garden. Today, I give you two more years. Watch. It's going to be worse. Hey, people will go out on the street. In some areas, people are going to be dying. They will eat things that human beings don't eat. Because hunger is hitting us. India. Second largest producer of wheat says we are not exporting wheat to Indonesia. Hey, palm oil, no, is in Malaysia? No, no, no. It's going to be worse. But I tell you, survival mode is now. Mm. People should start planting things, whether you are a farmer or not. It will help you to respect the farming that you have relegated to old men. So that you will learn that farming is not easy. When you plant your to tomato and you even pluck one, you will respect it. But you go on the market and buy a whole, oh, it's nothing. Because you agree with yourself, you will respect it. Eat what you grow and grow what you eat. It's, one, it's the survival mode I will say for now. But on the bigger picture, hey, our attitudes need to change. Mm.